Draco the Gaunt is no longer an unusable champion. Let me prove it to you. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. How you doing today? The problem with Draco is that basically I've thought he's unusable. I never recommend anybody to use him. But that all changes today. I'm very excited to share some stories, show some builds, and tell you how Drunkgall is going to change your account, especially for Hard Fire Night. You heard me right. Stick around. This is going to be a spicy one. Now, let's take a look at his kit real quick, because you're probably saying, what are you talking about, Jedi? On the A1, he has a single hitter with a small chance to place a stun. Not a very good ability. On his A2, he places increased attack, increased defense on all allies. He also places block damage if they have less than 30% HP. Seems alright, and it is just that, alright. Then his A3 places a shield buff equal to 15% of his max HP on all allies for three turns, which is great. This is an actually a decent ability. Now, he also has a passive effect on this A3 that heals each ally by 15% of his max HP when a shield buff placed by this skill is removed or broken by an enemy attack. And that's usually as far as we make it into his kit. However, allies whose shield buffs are broken will also counterattack the enemy that breaks the shield. Your whole team gets counterattack when they break the shield. That is mind blowing, and we're going to utilize that in Hard Fire Night. Also, it's going to. Uh, heal instantly uh, when the shield is broken the heal occurs instantly before any remaining damage from the shield breaking attack is taken so all of that goes together really really well this guy might be exactly what you need on your account okay so let's take a look here I want to actually compare Drakul today to freaking valkyrie guys okay and i know that that sounds insane but you're gonna see he is taking the place of valkyrie in this hard fire night team okay well how did this all come about okay well this is not my account we are on skidoogle's account this is my fearless clan leader over in oath of unity he's been in uh, a, a prominent member of the oath cluster for quite some time now and our friend zilly he and zilly came up with this strategy okay to work on fire knight using Drakul because Dougal does not have any Valkyries, okay? Um, so let's jump into the team. Let's see it in action because this is shocking, all right? Now, there's one champion you're not going to be happy about. I'm going to just tell you right now, okay? And that is going to be the Cardial, okay? And I get it. I get it. Everybody does not have Cardial. However... We think you can replace Cardial with another ally attack champion, and then maybe you would need somebody else to keep your team alive. You could replace the Yakarl spot, which is the flex spot in this team. Um, if you have all of these champions and some good gear, you can also replace the Yakarl with a second Cold Heart. I believe he has, yeah, down here. He has a second Cold Heart build for this team, and that does speed it up a, a decent bit, like a full minute or minute and a half. It'll speed this, this team up, but Yakarl works just fine in here. Uh, you can see that drop goal is going to be an important part of this team. I would say even an essential part, okay? And then the Stagnite is going to be in here not just for the decreased speed, because your Carl has decreased speed as well, but also for the decreased attack 
and the decreased defense is very helpful. The decrease attack is going to keep us alive. We have the ally attack on Cardial and the revive on death. We have Cold Heart for her four hitter and her insane uh, a, uh, enemy max HP hit. And then your Carl's actually going to keep the turn meter down pretty well. So let's jump into a run so you can believe this because you got to see this one to believe it. I get it. Okay. We do not use Drop Goal. And now we finally have a reason. I will say, if you have Valkyrie, she's going to be better at this role than Drakkel. But everybody doesn't have Valkyrie, okay? Um, I've been on tons of people's accounts, and not very many of them have Valkyrie. So you can use the Valkyrie that you have in this spot if you don't have Drakkel or, you know, vice versa, right? They're interchangeable here. One of the things, one of the questions that we have is, you know, will Lonatharl work in position of Cardial? Because he provides a shield, which we need Drakkal's shield to work. So I don't know if Lonatharl will work, but he is one of the champions that Dougal and I discussed putting in this team. Okay. Uh, another possibility is going to be, again, putting that second cold heart in uh, or working in that spot with the Yakarl because that is a flex spot. He makes this basically a hundred percent and extremely reliable, but he doesn't speed up the run. Also, he's a very accessible champion. Really the only difficult champion to get in this team is going to be Cardial. And of course you have to have the, uh, you have to have the Drakkal, but a lot of people got Drakkal sitting in their vault, wondering what to do with them, thinking, man, I wish I could do hard mode in Fire Knight. So this is going to be his main purpose here. I don't see another purpose for him outside of like faction wars. So this is going to be his saving grace. That said, Polarium, he could still use a buff because his kit is not that great. All right. I will say his base stats are pretty not bad. His base stats are decent, which I was shocked about. Um, now we are running this on level six because this is where Dougal has tested it extensively. He's done most of his work up to level six. We haven't progressed past that, but we think that this team can continue. Okay. One of the questions that we have is what Strakel's speed need to be. There's only one champion on this team that has a high speed, and that's awesome. It does happen to be Cardial, but the rest of the champions are pretty reasonable on speeds, and we'll go over all of that here at the end of the video. Let me know in the comments also, if you're doing hard dungeons at all, if you're doing hard Fire Knight, and as always, if you have a cool strategy, I would love to feature you on my uh, on my channel here. So let's watch. Draco places the shield at the beginning of the fight. Then the Fire Knight is going to take a turn after we get a little bit of damage in here and break the shield. Now everyone's going to counterattack. The shield's going to come back down and we're going to deal a sizable amount of damage. Okay? So... That's how Draco works on the Fire Knight. And when Dougal told me this last night on stream, I was like, there's no way. That's not even... I don't believe you until I'm seeing it for myself. And so I am so pumped to share this with you guys today because it really is almost unbelievable, okay? I'm just shocked by Drakkal in a hard, like, end game content using Drakkal is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I still think that there's room to optimize this team with, you know? The team is not fully optimized yet, but I think that it can be. I think this is a great starting point. We know it works very well on stage six, and we think it can be applied. And there's the counterattacks. There's the counterattacks. So, what do you think of this team? Do you think it's legit? I would love to hear about all of that in the comments below. Um, 
I think that that's all the information that I needed to make sure that I share with you about this team so far. So we're going to watch through this and chat a little bit more about um, the team and some other things as well. And then we'll take a look at the builds. Okay. This ends up being about a six minute fight with this version. Okay. If you are going to use the two cold hearts version which is harder to keep alive on the waves then you want to make sure to build your cold hearts very defensively and also um you can shave a couple minutes off i think his best time is three minutes and 30 seconds which is very respectable for hard fire night because of how difficult it is but you can see here we're not really in any danger of losing okay and the decrease attack that we place on the boss from stagnite if we can get it in there protects us against getting critted um finally i want to mention that the majority of these champions are not uh ascended with blessings and so if you have those on there that's gonna make this team even better so that's a possibility for you as well if you have those types of things on your account and we are give there's the decrease attack on there so that's great as well i'm surprised that the yakaro version is a lot slower than the second cold heart i would think the yakaro is going to get us through the waves a lot faster even if the boss is a little slower but the second cold heart made such a significant difference uh it's just that it's quite a bit more unreliable you know, there there is a chance to fail with the two cold hearts at the moment with his builds. Um, the the last thing that I want to mention here as we're wrapping up this fight is, well, uh, is it worth it to farm this dungeon like this? And Dougal's response to that was yes, because of the chance of getting mythical gear on these runs. Okay, and that's going to be what is so impactful about running the hard dungeons. All right, you can see Cardiel did 1.3, Cardi uh, Coldheart did 2 million, a uh, million for Stagnite, Drakul not doing very much damage, Yakaro 1.4. So the damage is kind of spread out through this team. Let's take a look at those builds so you can see what's important. Not that one, this one recently used. Cardiel is the fastest one in the team, and his build is pretty fast. He's at 292. But if you're doing hard fire night, you can probably hit that. He does not have to be in stone skin. The Yakaro build, just very accessible, not that fast, 228. Not a lot of crit stats in Relentless. Drockle has 23,000 base HP. So getting him to these numbers is easier than you think. But he does have a healthy amount of HP. 110,000 3k defense. But again, only 228 speed. Additionally, he's in Guardian. But we don't think that you need the Guardian on him. Okay, so that's one of the things that we wanted to test is making Drakko faster. What if we put Drakko up around that 300 speed mark? Will that allow us to do the higher levels in Fire Knight? Will that make it more reliable? Will it speed it up? Those are still some questions that we have on the builds. Stagnite's in a shield set, which we like for the waves. 218 speed, again, not that fast. And then the Cold Heart is just in Perception and some broken sets. You'll see she does have some defensive stats, a little bit of defense and HP. And her crit stats are not great because you don't really need them. So that's the five champions and that's the team. Dougal, thank you so much for allowing me on your account today. I really appreciate being able to share this with everyone. Make sure you hit that like button. That is your most powerful tool to help other people get to see this sweet video also. And of course, if you're not subscribed, hit that button while you're down there too. Thank you so much for watching this Drakul the Gaunt showcase in Hard Fire Nights. I hope you have a wonderful day and you enjoyed this video. Until the next one, have a great day.
and happy Easter!